Hard times are definitely ahead and some institutions are warning of that and we see in this instance the IMF and the World Bank warning of peak trade and I would like to suggest that growth is collapsing right around the world you came here for the truth so let me unveil that for you let's look at market watch here and this has happened so many times I feel like I'm repeating myself but the S&P 500 and the Dow score record close ahead of Thanksgiving break yet again beating records achieving new highs now of course let's not factor in any of the real data showing that people are in fact more poor and this is simply a devaluation of the currency let's just take it at face value and you can see how happy the traders are to see that their numbers are going up nominally it is not important to look at the real data they just want to know that those numbers are rising because that's how they can keep this fraudulent system going and let's get into more of this type of news here new york fed declares household deleveraging over and right there we have this what they suggest is that people have been paying off their debt and everything is just fine right now consumer confidence is so great you've heard this all before but this is such a fake thing to look at because we see people at the highest level of debts that they've ever been at i've shown those statistics many times but they can show you these twisted statistics and make you believe that consumer confidence and that people are willing to spend more but the fact is that they are not look at who's buying up the stock market it isn't the individual at all it is central banks that are buying up the stock market and the big institutions which are using computer algorithms it really isn't the individual anymore and that's a very big problem now let's get into the real issues today and this is just one example and you know a lot of people will say that this isn't the case but just look at this for now and you can do your own research and you'll see for yourself but china's industrial profit swung to a decrease in october as net income for the top companies fell two percent from a year earlier and basically it goes on but you can read this for yourself how things are declining in china right now no they're not in the negative territory because they're keeping it afloat and i just got into information recently talking about how they need to relax the lending process process and they need to basically allow more debt to be accumulated and they will cut rates they will in you know do more qe all of these type of things but of course if you look at a lot of the people who have a lot riding on china they will fight for this they will say that nothing is wrong and everything is booming but the fact remains is that when you have stimulus measures when you have public works projects it can keep things going but it cannot continue forever and that is the big fear let's move on quickly here get to the big news of the day out of the financial times imf and world bank warn of quote peak trade so let's get into what they said the global economy is unlikely to see the same heated growth in trade that fueled globalization before the 2008 financial crisis largely because china's manufacturers are turning inward according to research done by the imf and the world bank this is big news here both of the big institutions imf and world bank which of course have their own agenda let's not let's not lie to ourselves here but this is true it's that they're not going to see that same heat that been was was fueling it right now all you're seeing for the time being is qe that is really generating the stock market's increase the real economy isn't doing well we've gone over those stats a million times and you know they continue on a good article to read but let's move on and get into some other details and show you how the dots connect you have to find a solution to this crisis and this solution according to the central bankers is of course stimulus let's get into what they said the ecb vice president sent the strongest signal to date 
that the ECB is prepared to buy government bonds early next year if it decides that more aggressive stimulus measures are needed. They initially said that they weren't even allowed to do this, and just like Obama, the dictator, they are able to go back on their words and able to do whatever they want because, of course, there are technocrats running the European Union. It's not the government that has been even in most cases a fake vote allowed to be put in but they don't even use that anymore they use the technocrats so let's get on quickly with this and just say that they uh, want to expand the balance sheet by about a trillion euro higher than it is presently that is a really large number and that is only one instance of QE they could do just what the US has done and incorporate many different layers they could do a open tap like they did with QE3 printing up trillions of trillions of dollars they will have to do this in order to have this economy going again and of course that's not going to generate the real economy but that's the intention that these central bankers purported uh, try to uh, allow us to believe anyway so you can read this for yourself but it is good information to get on with this and show you the real data and that is this out of CNS news 20% of US households on food stamps you're looking at one in five are gonna celebrate Thanksgiving on food stamps that is very harsh to read because you need to think about how bad the economy is when you're looking at stats like this this is pretty amazing the statistics on average continue to rise particularly after the financial crisis they have dramatically increased food stamp usage when i wrote my book was about 40 million people and now it is nearly 50 million people and the number continues to rise on average pretty harsh and this is the real data that we need to look at not how they say you know the economy is deleveraging the household is deleveraging this is just not the case look at the real stats and you'll see for yourself connected in with this is this article here immigrant social security eligible in obama plan look at this information many immigrants in the united states illegally apply for work who apply for work permits under Obama's new executive action, that's criminality, would be eligible for Social Security and Medicare benefits upon reaching retirement age, according to the White House. So yet again, regardless of which side of the argument you're on, yet again, we have more debt being accumulated at the national, the federal level. This is something that cannot be sustained, of course, because they've already gone way over the top but this information shows you that they are basically going off balance sheet off the books when you use something like social security and medicare because they are quote unquote unfunded liabilities i wrote about it in my book when i quoted uh, Richard Duncan from the, the Dollar Crisis. If you haven't read it already, it's an amazing book, really good book and easy to read. He says this, Social Security is an unfunded pension scheme. I completely agree with that. And he says this, uh, he goes on to say that the private, if a private company did this, it would be illegal, but because it's the government, it isn't a crime. If you use GAAP, that's globally accepted accounting principles, which all the companies need to do this would show you that you need to put everything on the books if you owe that money it needs to be put on the books and if they did so the debt per year that they owe is many trillion higher than what they say it is it is already if you just look at the government statistics it's already becoming unpayable just with the interest they have to pay on it but then when you add on top of that the unfunded liabilities is just physically impossible can never be paid back the interest on it is alone enough to strangle it but of course here they are saying that we can 
go ahead and continue this madness. It cannot happen. It's all coming down right before our very eyes. We're due for another crash very soon. So the moral of the story is get your money into real assets. Real assets will protect you. But more importantly, take your money out of the banking system. I'm going to go into a video in the near future. I'm still collecting the data showing you country after country, their own documentation from their central banks, from the uh, really the top officials saying how they are going to impose a levy, a bail in regime, any sort of other term that they use, but basically a tax on your own savings in order to prop up the banking system. So stay tuned for that one. And of course, subscribe to the videos to make sure you get on there. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And of course, you need to become a subscriber at the Money GPS Insiders. And that is totally free. It's at themoneygps.com. You scroll down to the bottom, fill in your email address, and you get occasional emails from me with good, short, concise info.